Hi. Uh, this is a video about our Perdita and Bronco puppies and a description of their four week to five week weaning and potty training pen. So we just moved them down here, literally about 10 minutes ago. So they're still kind of exploring the space. Um, they're having a good time doing that. And their mama's there having a little lunch. So um, I do my puppy pen for a reason. Everything is based on their behavioral development. So at this age, what we're focusing on is socialization, but most importantly, um, potty training and litter training. So early litter training pays off in huge dividends later on for cleaner puppies, easier to house train puppies. So um, you can see that about half the space is made into an open-sided uh, litter box with pine shavings. And um, they also have their shavings area, shavings little tray from the litter box uh, or from the whelping box upstairs. So that is going to be familiar to them. They have been using that in their whelp, their litting box or their whelping box. And so hopefully that will help drive them to the new pen. It's open sided for a reason. Yes, it does make a mess. Yes, shavings get everywhere. But um, what it does is keep them more cleanly in the long run. And it's easy for them to get in and out with the open side. And obviously, I guess the sides don't bother them. Um, it's placed for a reason because we want to drive them towards that window and eventually towards that dog door. All my puppies at six weeks are using a dog door and by 10 weeks when they leave are using a dog door 100%. Um, they no longer need a litter box inside their play area. Um, they get 24, 24 hour access. So that's our goal right now is to tr try to drive them towards that area into the smell of the shavings, which will keep them cleaner, happier, healthier, and it keeps me sane because I clean the pen a lot less. There is paper on the floor and underneath there are potty pads and the bed under pads to help soak up any liquids because clearly they don't know how to be house trained. Oh, up there, pal. Um, they have a little food area. It does have a different texture rug um, because textures are really important um, for puppies. They have free choice water. They're old enough now to have a water pan um, and they like that. They have a food bin, but they're not quite ready for hard food. We're still eating um, canned food and definitely mom's milk. She's feeding them many times a day. Um, they've got some toys. They're mostly large motor skill toys um, because they're still kind of working on walking. So we don't want to mess that up. So we have this big chunky kind of slide deal that they seem to already enjoy. And then there's a board there or a circular thing that kind of moves back and forth under their feet. They have bedding over here, which again is separate from litter and feeding areas. And then it's a double bed that I purchased special so that Perdita can get away from them during the day. So I need Perdita to be able to feed them during the day, but she and they are at an age where there's kind of annoying for her. So she needs to be able to get away from them. So she has this pen up here, or bed, where she can jump up, get to the litter, or litter, I'm obsessed with litter. Um, her food and water are up there too because a bucket is not safe for puppies this age. Um, they can still drown, so we make sure that the buckets stay up. So down here in my kennel, we also have a TV, so they get their classical music every day, and then they also get exposure to a different show every day. Sometimes talk radio, sometimes QVC. They love QVC with all the different voices. Um, we do cops, so we hear the fire engines and that. And then, of course, we do the YouTube um, thunderstorms, fireworks, and we're a couple weeks from 4th of July, so they're going to definitely hear some real fireworks. Other than that, we're working on, you know, eating, from taking treats from the hand, the clicker, um, doing some shaping with the clicker and their food. Um, they're definitely going to be having haircuts this week. They are still that cute, cute, fuzzy stage, which I love, but don't love forever. So soon those little fuzzy faces are going to be gone, but they're so cute. 
know, you're cute. You get a haircut too. So anyways, this is um, my, their weaning pen. So this is what they're gonna spend the next probably week, maybe five days. If they're doing really well with the shavings box, we'll close it up. Um, I also have other litter pans you'll see in Ultimate for their videos that get smaller and smaller because ultimately I want to have them going potty in one area and not have the entire pen to clean every single day. So they are very good babies. They're very outgoing and I'm looking forward to having one for agility and I know the new other new owners are excited too. Thanks for watching.